Brought to you by Clima Mac X, the ultimate way to optimize your Mac. All right, tally ho there champs, and yeah, iPhone SE isn't any good. My last video, I sort of made a video, sort of taking a piss, and yeah, it was a joke. Some people got triggered, but you can check that video out if you want. But um, in all seriousness, this is a serious phone. And I've got to tell you, TLDR of it, if this had a bigger display, I could 100% rock this. And I would go as far to say at that price, $399, I don't think you're getting any phone that even can touch this. I mean, in Australia, we're getting ripped. I mean, it's 750 in Australia and yeah, you can get a Samsung Galaxy S10e, which is a really good phone. But you still don't get all the Apple features. And, you know, there are a numerous amount of features you get with Apple. You get all the privacy, you know, stuff like AirDrop. You get access to the best app and ecosystem because, um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm an Android man at heart. The reality is the best apps are on iOS and they're usually on iOS first. And sometimes there are a lot of exclusive apps on iOS. That's just how it is. And I don't know how many times my wife has said, oh, this isn't working, that isn't working. I said, yeah. Use an iPhone and it'll work. Everything is made for the iPhone because the iPhone is the biggest selling phone in the world. Yes, I know other manufacturers sell more phones than Apple, but the iPhone is the number one most popular model at any phone. And what do you miss out on over the big one? Well, not really that much. I've got to say, it's really good. The display is good. Despite what people are saying, it's a really good display. It's just too small for me. I thought I'd miss all the gestures and that, but no, I don't. The muscle memory come back and using the home button is, yeah. I got used to it within minutes. And Touch ID is far superior than Face ID. Trust me on that. And it's quicker too, because I can go to a terminal now and my phone doesn't have to be on. I just have to have my finger on the finger print reader and it will just pay straight away without having to you know put it on the right angle for my face which face id is yeah it's really bad doesn't work with masks how many people are wearing masks now when you wear good quality sunglasses face id doesn't work you can go into the settings and munt the security and basically when you munt that security you can log into an iphone with your eyes closed so face id in the real world is not secure you get a great camera too you get the best silicon you can get in a phone so all the performance is there it's fast it's fluid the only thing i'll say it just costs too much in australia in the us 399 it is just like you cannot beat it at that price and it's going to be a phone that lasts you forever the battery life is actually good i've done three battery cycles and it's been really good i would say if you're a power user or a really heavy user yeah it won't last through the day but i think for most people to get this yeah it's going to last a day no problems and nothing can touch this in terms of video quality photo quality it's up there with the iphones of course you don't get all the cameras so you only got one camera but most people won't care about that and to be perfectly honest on my iphone 11 pro max i don't really use all the different lenses that much although it is handy when they're there the finish is nice the quality is nice yeah it doesn't look that modern with you know the bezels top and bottom and that but um this is a great phone and having a small phone like this yeah it's really good except for content consumption because um yeah looking at videos on this it's a bit small it's a bit pokey i actually wish they had a plus version of this or a max version i'll definitely get that 100 percent and i'll save my money and not even worry about the pro max because the price of those are just ridiculous and this thing i really like it and if you get it you're gonna like it too so i'll catch you in the next one guys tally ho because if you have an iphone you probably have a mac and the ultimate optimization tool for your mac is clean my mac x leave a link in the description where you can get that thing if your mac is running like a pc and you really want it to run fast again use clean my mac x it'll make your mac sing so let's go to the apple store and see if anyone's there well of course not you should be home stroking it and what stroking means is up to you now seeing this is the toyota corolla virus launch day event let's do the toyota corolla version of the iphone launch day yeah let's simulate it remember the days where you used to order your phone online from apple.com and you'll click on collect from store so you can line up like an imbecile so yes, back in the day, you could actually go to Apple Store on launch day and pick up your phone. And of course, you got the early appointment because you're just a legend. And you go there 
and you look around the corner and there'll be no one. Or there'll be loads of people. Depends if it's a cheap one or not. If it's a cheap one, there's a line around the corner. If it's an expensive one, no, no one's there, trust me. But today, if you go to the Apple store, it's just going to feel like going to a Samsung store. No one will be there. And yes, we've gone to the Apple store, survived the blue Smurfs or red Smurfs or black Smurfs. I can't keep up with what colour they are. We get our brand new iPhone SE home and woof. Yes, let's unbox it because that's what everybody does. Because for some unknown reason, people think there's going to be something different in it to the last 100 iPhones that were launched. And yes, you open it up and whoa, you get an iPhone. Amazing. You also get some literature, some stickers. And a charger. Who would have thought? And headphones too. I forgot that. So now you grab this iPhone in your hand and wow. First thing is it's amazing, right? It's so small. It's like it's made for a little boy. Maybe it should be called the iPhone GP, George Pell edition, because he's going to love this phone. And by the way, George Pell fans, yeah, the candy and lollies stuff doesn't work anymore. You've got to get them iPhones and stuff, yeah. Google him. Or maybe they should have called it the iPhone Classic or Vintage, because this looks like an iPhone from the past. Yes, the good old iPhone 6 in 2020. Who doesn't want that? I mean, at least it has Touch ID and it works, unlike Face ID, which never works when you have sunglasses. And you have to constantly bow to. Touch ID is better. It is. And we also get some other classic touches. Like I can't see shit on this screen outdoors in the sunshine. That is classic. But it's Toyota Corolla virus time. So who's going outdoors anyway? And if you haven't already watched the big YouTubers propaganda videos of the iPhone SE, go check them out. But I can summarize it for you right now. This is an iPhone I wouldn't use, but it's the best iPhone for you and everyone else. That's what they're saying. Who am I to argue? And here in Australia, we get the pleasure of being charged an extra hundred dollars than what it should be because hey, you can go buy a Galaxy S10e for $750. That's the price of the iPhone SE in Australia. Yeah, for real. But in all seriousness, if you rock an iPhone 5, well, you need a new phone or a 6, 7, 8, and you have a phobia of new interfaces and awesome display technology, this is the iPhone for you. In all honesty, it is a good iPhone. It will last you many years. You get everything that Apple has. And there is so much value in this. If it's $3.99 in the US and Australia, we get ripped. But yeah, it's an iPhone 8 with updated specs, a really good camera. And it won't slow down in six months like your Samsung. That takes two years when they try to deprecate it so you can buy a new one. Under the false pretense that they have to protect it from crashing because the battery is aging. <laughs>